If you can lie to yourself, how easy is it to lie to everybody else? (laughs) It's nothing. The hardest person to lie to is you. And once you've lied to yourself, when somebody comes to you and says, hey, 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 what about, you're going to go, hey, and you're going to say, there's nothing wrong with, there's nothing wrong with, And you're actually going to believe it because you've lied to yourself. And what are you doing? You know, there's nothing wrong with just talking. There's nothing wrong with, there's nothing wrong with sharing personal details. There's nothing wrong with having just a few things that just we talk about. There's nothing wrong with, and then somebody goes, whoa, 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 what's the matter? And you go, hey, I'm okay. The edge, it's right here. I haven't jumped over. I'm right here. I'm right at the edge. I'm okay. And everybody's going, no, 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 no. And then, whoo. It all blows up, right? Now, is it always wrong to go to the edge in everything in life? No. You're on a diet, okay? Some of you want to lose weight because there's just more of you to like. And so you're saying, I want to lose a little weight. And so, you know what? You should go right to the edge. Whatever, how many calories that you eat, man, you should have every calorie. You're cutting M&Ms in quarters so that you can just get, right? You're going, you know what? Have, get right to the edge. Speed limit. Should you go right to the edge? That'd be good for a lot of you because you go right past the edge, right? <laughs> on it. When it comes to a budget, you know, like you've got so only so much money you should spend on clothes. You know, is it, you know, is it, should you go right to the edge? Yeah, you need to look good. You should go right to the edge. Why isn't it so bad for you to go right to the edge when it comes to like a diet? Because if you go over the edge, what's the consequence? You're just a little puffier, right? (laughs) Go right to the edge in the speed limit because what's the consequence of going over the edge? You just meet a policeman and he gives you a ticket. You pay a fine. You go to right to the edge of your clothing budget. What's the consequence? You got to cut someplace else, you know, but it's not the end of the world. Why is it crazy to go to the edge when it comes to sexual sin? Because God says it's devastating to you. You go over the edge, you destroy your ability to connect with people the way God designed it to be, you destroy your relationship with God. You go over the edge, you destroy your little girl's hero that she has for her life. And she distrusts men for the rest of her life. You got to sit down and talk to your family and explain what you've done and how you've broken trust with your family. I mean, when you go over the edge, you have destroyed a marriage. You've destroyed trust. You've destroyed a family. You've destroyed your own heart. You hurt your ability and you don't know how to connect anymore. The devastation sweeps through. And it doesn't stop there. You go, well, pornography, what's the big deal? It fuzzes your brain out. Your feelings go crazy. It starts to freeze your heart up. You can't feel. It deadens your heart. I mean, there's a sadness in your soul. And you know what the worst part of it is? You lose your ability to embrace God's grace and understand his forgiveness. It's not that God doesn't give forgiveness. Your ability to understand it, to embrace it, it gets impaired. You see, dancing on the edge, you know, when you ask the question, how far can I go? I mean, and you got explicit. Man, is it okay? I get, okay, kissing's okay. You're holding hands. We're all good with that. And you're going, you know, hugging, how do it? And but kissing, and how much kissing? And then, you know, can I sleep with them if we just don't have sex? (laughs) Because that's that's working, right? You want to just be laughed at at a second? You think that's happening? Yeah, you know, you want to see a guy? Yeah, okay. You know, and you go, no, no, but we're just sleeping together, but we're not having sex. You know what? We just, we touch each other places, all sorts of, but we just don't have intercourse. You know, as long as we don't, and it's like you just go, because it's right there, because I can go right to the edge. Because you know why God doesn't answer the question of where's the edge, where the line is? Because where are you going to go? I'm okay. See, because here's the line. The problem is you're not going to stop right here. And God says the consequence of jumping off It's going to destroy you, destroy your family. It's going to devastate. This is not like any other sin. What what do you expect? A God who loves you, a heavenly father who's crazy about you to say. Go to the edge, dance, sure. Go right there, have a good time. Woo, you're okay. Just don't go over. Really? You think that's what he's going to say? What does he say? 
Flee sexual immorality. Step back away from that line. Do not get close.